Good morning, and welcome to the Hillbilly Hoarder. It's Friday morning, 645, 44 degrees. We're still up here at Spring Carlisle. We'll be walking up and down these roads in hopes of finding a bargain. If we find anything, we'll post it at the end of the videos. Remember what they say, a bad day at a swamp meet sure beats a good day at work. Get the walking.
That's nice, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Just made it back from Spring Carlisle 2024. Let me show you what is able to find. I picked up this little rough mini bike up there. It's, it was already partially taken apart. The fenders were off of it. The gas tank's just setting on there. There's the fenders. The rear fender has a 1982 Pennsylvania license plate on it. So that thing's been off the road for at least 40 years. And it came with these aftermarket grips. Team Cycle. They have the finger grooves. I thought those were kind of neat. And I was able to find a, a pair of 1965 Corvette seats up there. As you can see, the seats are a little rough, but the seat frames are real nice. be able to put that on one of these project cars that I have up here. But I found a ni another nice uh, little Rupp mini bike. Now I was riding this up here but until I ran out of fuel. Somebody's repainted this one. These little Rupp mini bikes, they kind of have a following. Now the first mini bike that I ever owned was a Rupp mini bike. I was delivering papers. I had to sell my Aurora Thunderjet little race cars, mowing grass, just to buy my first mini bike. Like I say, it was a rough roadster, a little bit different than this. It had a headlight. Then I picked up another one of these little Taylor Tot strollers. Just trying to relive my youth so I can go back as far. The Web Toad Wonder, she has a, a little black and white picture of me sitting in one of these. Maybe one day I'll post that. And I picked up this uh, Kawasaki Green hard hat, Visitor. It was in a dollar stack and I just couldn't resist. Then I got to buying these wheel chalks. I thought these would come in handy uh, just to leave in the Suburban. We didn't want it to run over the hill. Then I went up there actually looking for a deer crossing sign. I run across this at first, and I thought, well, that might slow the people down. But then I ran across the deer crossing sign. This came out of Canada. There's a gentleman up there that deals with these signs. The silhouette's just a little bit different down here than what it is up there. I need to make a bracket to attaches to my fence out here. Maybe to get the people to slow down a little bit. But let me show you this I bought. This is going to be my, my good luck charm. I bought this off an older gentleman up there. And throughout his years of playing golf, he was able to get two holes in once. This is a senior edition. And uh, I bought this off of him, and I even offered to give them whole one golf balls back, but he said he was done golfing. So this, like I say, this is going to be my new uh, good luck charm. And years ago, I bought this off a gentleman up there. It, it belonged to his father-in-law. His father-in-law had passed away, and I was able to buy this off of him. Well, thank you for watching. We really appreciate the support. 
But we sure hope you have a great day. And don't forget, Canfield Swap Meet is this coming weekend. We'll have to walk through it. <laughs>